So I started off by priming my eyes and then I used this Vanilla Bean Colour by Makeup Geek just to put all over my lids. That will help the eyeshadows have something to stick to and also make it a lot smoother for the eyeshadows when you blend them. The eyeshadow primer I used was my Kiko Eye Base Primer which I always use in every single video because it's just the best. So with my MAC 217 blending brush and by Makeup Geek the shadow Barcelona Beach, this is going straight into the crease. Try not to get it on the lid too much but if it does go on the lid a little bit it doesn't matter but just try and concentrate it right into the crease and gradually blend it out as well. I'm going to really sort of give this a slight wing out on the outer corner as you can see there and that will just help with all my blending as well because I want to have that shape. I'm then going to go in with this Kiko shade. I'm not sure what it's called actually, I don't have it in front of me but I will leave everything linked below just in case I miss something out. But it's a really nice grey colour and that will go straight into the crease with my Morphe tapered brush and this will also go out um, on the outer corners. So. It doesn't matter if you put it on the outer corner of your eyelid because you want it to kind of be there anyway. And then I'm going to use my E40 blending brush by Sigma to blend this out and just buff it all in and just make sure you have no harsh lines. Now with the shade Bedrock also by Makeup Geek. This is a lovely light grey toned colour. I'm using that on the inner corner, the outer corner and blending it through the crease so leaving the center of the lid bare because we're going to put another color in there which is shimmer shimmer also by makeup geek because makeup geek shadows are really the best and i'm just using a very small brush just to pat that right into the center i don't actually know what brush this is because it's really old but any small little brush will do as long as it's not too big for liner I'm using my Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid liner which is, has a very very thin tip on it which is great if you want to get a really sharp line. I'm using this to just really wing the liner out. I'm not doing anything special, just a normal winged liner and this is actually really great. It's quite a new product for me but I'm really liking it at the moment. and. Yeah, I just I have no sort of bad things to say about it other than it does take a little bit of practice if you're not used to it being like really thin. And then I'm just using my Maybelline Master on my pencil in black in my waterline and just one layer of mascara because I'm using my Huda Beauty lashes which are amazing. They are in scarlet which is number 8 and definitely worth the £14.50. <laughs> so now I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and my Morphe G6. This is just obviously going to go all over my face and I'm going to concentrate it mostly on my cheeks and my nose just because that's where I need the most coverage. I have a foundation routine but I may do an updated one um, soon because I use different brushes and stuff now but yes stay tuned for that. Now I'm with a concealer, this is the Urban Decay concealer and I'm really bringing this down onto my cheeks because I feel like for me personally that looks much better on me and I'm just going to do my chin and like my forehead and a bit of my nose as well just for added highlight and conceal. And then I'm just going to use my foundation brush just to buff that in because at the time that's just what I wanted to do. Sometimes I use my beauty blender but I don't mind using my foundation brush as long as I pat it in rather than swipe it because obviously I don't want to swipe away concealer so I need to really push it into the skin which this foundation brush really does a great job of. To bake I'm using my RCMA no colour powder with my wet damp beauty blender. It's okay if you have it damp I do prefer it to be more wet just because I feel like it gives a better finish but if you don't like it too wet and you just want it damp that's fine as well as long as you don't use it dry and I'm just basically gonna leave that on my face to bake. Baking is really good because it sets that concealer and foundation and it really pushes it into the skin like the warmth of your skin really pushes it in so 
that's why it's quite good to bake. If you're using like a lot of makeup, then I do recommend doing that. So to contour my cheekbones, I'm using my Breakup Shade Contour Pan from Makeup Geek. And then the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Harmony Blush by MAC, which I always use. What I like about this cool toned contour that I have from Makeup Geek is the fact that it's quite cool toned so it doesn't have that brown shady kind of colour to it, it's just very um, more like a shadow so it actually looks like a shadow on your face rather than giving you a bronzed look which I think is really great for when you're contouring your cheekbones and your nose because I feel like it looks more natural so then on my forehead and the rest of my face I, I like to use Max Harmony blush just because it has more of a brownish tone to it so it gives more of a bronzy look so that is where I add the colour so I make my nose and my cheekbones more of a shadow and then the rest I give colour. And here I just want to sharpen up my contour, so that's why I'm using the powder. For my bottom lash line, I'm going in with the shade Barcelona Beach again, which is what we used in the crease, just to give it that slight warmth colour. And then I'll go back over it with Bedrock to add that grey colour to it, so it kind of matches with the grey brownie theme. And then in the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use that Shimmer Shimmer shade also by Makeup Geek because I want to give it a bit of a highlight as you can see here. So I'm putting on the inner corner and just on the bottom inner bit of my um, bottom lash line kind of area and that will just give it a nice highlight. You then want to just give your bottom lashes some mascara because you don't want to miss those out, it's quite important and then I'm on with my blush. So the blush I'm using is by Natural Collection, it's called Peach Melba and I'm using my Zoeva 127 brush I believe and it's just a tapered blush brush and that will give me a nice peachy colour because obviously for summer that's what I want. And then my highlight is the Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hills collection for Becca Cosmetics. This is a really lovely highlighter, but I don't think the camera really shows it, um, or the lighting in my room is not really showing it, but it is such a beautiful highlighter. For the lips I'm lining them with MAC Saw Lip Liner and I'm just going to gradually sort of blend that in with my finger because I don't want it to be like a really harsh line but I do want like the outer part of my lip lined. And then I'm going over my whole lips with the Revlon's Nude Attitude lipstick. It's just a nice nudie colour but I think it's great for summer. Um, but then I'm going to go over that with some lip gloss i don't know what it's called um it's by number seven and it's called high shine but i'm not actually sure what the color is called but again i will leave it linked below if i can find it and yeah you don't have to give it a glossy look but i just think it looks nice especially with the shimmery eyes but it will also look nice with a matte lip as well so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i 
absolutely love these eyelashes and I will be using them so much more and they're also really great worth the money definitely so thank you for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video